Welcome to round two of rodent hunting with Pastor Sam. You might remember that last time we caught a mouse. Today we're going to catch flying squirrels. <laughs> Popoki has him cornered here. She's very excited about it. He's under here and I'm sure he's not going to try to come out while she's out. I don't think he can make it behind the oven. I think he's pretty much cornered in here. She is very, very excited. Our good friend Jessica, who is a veteran of the Midwest, just gave me the idea to throw something over the squirrel. So I've got this towel and hopefully we can get him. Funny squeaky sound. Ah, shoot. Okay, he's behind here. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> shoot. Okay, Jessica. Let's try to catch him. Oh no! Man, he's fast and he's cute. Sorry you guys are seeing all of our dirty dishes. Can't break the glasses. Okay, you got me there, bud. Your move. Ah! Ah! I got him! Thought I got him. So he lives in the wall. So we didn't catch him, but uh, he can go back where he's from. So that's a that's a good thing. <laughs> We're uh, gonna board that up tomorrow. Flying squirrels are vectors for disease, so I'm gonna wash my hands, wash the countertop, and throw out any food that isn't fruit in a skin um, that was left on the counter. Yeah, don't mess with them. Um, I've told the landlord about them several times, but uh, he didn't believe me. He thought I was just a crazy Californian who didn't know what mice are, but uh, definitely, definitely was a flying squirrel. Thank you for joining uh, Sam's Wild Rodent Adventures here in uh, Berrien Springs, Michigan. Like, comment, and subscribe. I promise whenever there's a rodent that comes into our house, I'll try to catch it. There she is, back at it again. <laughs>